Hello everyone, it's me, Ilian from BM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to present you one of my uh, trading plans for this week. Uh, I know you've been expecting to see Valentin today but uh, we are switching places as he missed his flight and uh, he will make his uh, trading plan and share it, share it with you tomorrow. So today you're stuck with me and another Forex trading plan. As usual, we are going to look at a few different time frames. Uh, we are going to talk a little bit uh, the possible scenarios and possible entry points uh, we'll be monitoring. Now let's get started. Uh, first of all, I want to say that this trading plan will be uh, more suitable for intraday trades uh, while leaving uh, some percentage of your position as swing trades but of course if you prefer to swing trade it's also suitable for that you just have to monitor it more closely now the trading plan uh, will be based on the euro swiss franc currency pair and currently i have uh, the h4 time frame open uh, as you can see i have already defined a few levels and possible scenarios so let's get through them uh, first of all, the price is right here at the moment, just below this zone of resistance. Uh, now, this zone of resistance is formed by this bottom here after uh, the downtrend started. You can see uh, we had a huge wave down, then a very strong correction actually, then another wave down breaking this bottom, then sort of a correction to that wave, uh, which finished at this area, at this level, and uh, we had a move down from here and now the price has once again retraced uh, to that zone of resistance. Uh, as you can see both times here it bounced from this support area down here. Uh, so this is also our target one uh, zone. So if we are looking to sell the pair from this zone of resistance, uh, we would most likely cut some percentage of our trades here at the first support area. As you can see, I have also defined a second support area, which will be our target too. This is a more long-term target. And for those of you who prefer to swing trade this pair, uh, you can look at it as your main target. Uh, you can see how the price reacted from it. Uh, if you go uh, further back on the graph, and you can see how the price reacted from this first support right here and as a resistance a couple of times although it went a bit above it but it quickly retraced so uh, this is the zones and targets we'll have uh, if we are going for a sell position now of course there is a chance here that the price will uh, form a new uptrend and uh, the first target we'll be looking at is uh, this area right here or basically this previous top uh, between 1.14 and 1.1428. Uh, so there are two possible scenarios for us, although I am more inclined for the uh, sell scenario, uh, we have to be prepared in order to maximize our profits. Now let's go to the H1 time frame. And just to show you a few things there. As said, uh, this will be our main time frame, which we will be looking at. Uh, the H4 was used just to define the levels and uh, the possible places the price might go. Now on the H1 uh, are the scenarios. The first one, as I said, I expect for the price to reach this zone of resistance. As you can see here inside of it, we had a very uh, good consolidation. So this consolidation would most likely act as a resistance as well. So we can expect for the price to barely touch uh, this zone of resistance, maybe get a little bit inside of it, and then to uh, continue with a new wave down, reaching this first support area, probably uh, somewhere inside it. So um, our possible entry point would be uh, this one marked with a circle. And the orange circle so we'll wait for a confirmation that the zone of resistance will hold and the price is ready to go down uh, the second scenario is if the price breaks above that zone of resistance 
uh, since the uptrend wave would be quite uh, old at that time, especially for the H1, I would expect to see a correction back to that zone of resistance, which will turn into a zone of support. And then we can look for an entry uh, on the long side, uh, going for uh, as a target this area which we mentioned here between 1.14 1.1428. Uh, of course, if we see a drop from here, probably the price will reach, reach this support area. Maybe we'll see another correction and a further move down, uh, going for our second support uh, area or target two. Uh, now, it's really important today that uh, at uh, 1430 GMT, show you, we have, ah, actually, sorry, 14 GMT. Uh, we have a speech by ECB President Draghi in the European Parliament in Brussels. Um, and later on, we have a speech from uh, Governor Carney. So uh, those speeches will most likely influence the market, especially the uh, Draghi speech. Uh, we will most likely have some strong volatility, uh, especially if he uh, predicts something either super bad or super good for the uh, economy of the European Union and the policies of the central bank. So I would advise you to uh, wait. Uh, if you have an open position before the speech, I would advise you to close some percentage uh, before the speech. And if you don't have, I would advise you to wait uh, until the speech is over in order to uh, close uh, in order to open some new positions. Now, uh, this is it regarding this plan. Uh, I'll post it on TradingView so you can uh, track its progress and also I will update you with live signals on our official Telegram channel. Uh, with all those live signals we post there are free. So if you haven't joined, uh, do it now from the link below this video and uh, hopefully we'll make some good profits together this week on this plan. Thank you very much for watching and our team wishes you a great and profitable week.